her own salvation? I tell thee she is, and, and therefore make her grave straight. The crowner has sat on her and finds it a Christian burial. But how can that be? Unless she drowned herself in her own defense. Why, tis bound so. <laughs> it must be say, Ofendendo. It cannot be else, for here lies the point. If I drown myself wittingly, it argues an act. And an act hath three branches. It is to act, to do, and to perform our gall, she drowned herself wittingly. Nay, but here you good Give man. Give me leave. Here lies the water. Good. Here stands the man. Good. If the man go to this water and drown himself, it is will he kneel he goes mark you that. But if the water come to him and drown him, he drowns not himself. Our gall, he that is not guilty of his own death shortens not his own life. But is this law? I'm Marius, Croner's Quest Law. Well, I have the truth on't. <laughs> if this were not a uh, gentle woman, <laughs> she would have been buried out of Christian burial. Why, there thou sayest, and the more pity the great folk should have countenance in this world to drown or hang themselves more than they're even Christian. <laughs> Come, my spade. There is no ancient gentleman but gardeners ditchers, and grave makers. <laughs> <laughs> they hold up Adam's profession. Was he a gentleman? He was the first that ever bore arms. Why, he had none. What? Art a heathen? How dost thou understand the scripture? The scripture says Adam digged. Could he dig without arms? <laughs> I'll put another question to thee, and if thou answerest me not to the purpose, confess thyself. Go to. What is he that builds stronger than either the mason, the shipwright, or the carpenter? The gallows maker, for that frame outlives a thousand tenants. <laughs> <laughs> I like thy wit well. In good faith, the gallows does well, but how? does it well. It does well to those that do ill. <laughs> now, thou dost ill to say the gallows is built stronger than a church. Argal, the gallows may do well to thee. Do it again, come. Uh, who built stronger than the mason, the shipwright, or the carpenter? Ah, tell me that, none yoke. Mary, now I can tell. Toot. Go, oh, mess, I cannot tell. <laughs> Cause you'll elaborate no more about it, for your dull ass will not mend his pace with beating. <laughs> and when you are asked this question again, answer, a grave maker, for the houses he makes last till doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Fetch me a stupid liquor. In youth, when I did love, did love, me thought it was very sweet to contract, oh, the time for, ah, my behove. Oh, me thought there was nothing meet. Does this lady have no feeling of her business that she sings at grave making? Custom hath made it in her a property of easiness. Because even so, the hand of little employment hath the daintier wit. But age, with his stealing steps, hath clawed me in his clutch, and hath shipped me into the land as if I had never been such. That skull had a tongue in it, and could sing once. Now this knave jowls it to the ground as if toward Cain's jawbone that did the first murder. This may be the pain of a politician which this ass now overreaches, might it not? It might, my lord. A pickaxe! And a spade, a spade, four in a shrouding sheet. Oh, the pit of clay, for to be made, for such a guest is meat. Oh, there's another. <laughs> <laughs> this may be the skull of a lawyer, might it not? Where be his quillets now, his quillets, his cases, his tingers, and his tricks? 
Why does he suffer this rude knave to knock him about the sconce with a shovel when he himself? And why would he tell him of his action of battery? I'll speak to him. Whose grave's this, sir? Mine, sir. Oh, the pit of clay for to be made, for such a guest is meat. I think it is thine indeed, for thou liest in. You lie, I'll don't, sir, and therefore tis not yours. For my part, I do not lie, and yet it is mine. Thou dost lie it to be it and say it is thine. It's for the dead, not for the quick. Therefore, thou liest. Tis a quick lie, sir, to awake in from me to you. What man is it for? No man, sir. What woman, then? For none, neither. Who is to be buried in? Ah, for one that was a woman, sir, but uh, rest her soul, she's dead. How <laughs> absolute the name is. How long hast thou been a grave maker? Of all the days of the year. I came to it that day that our last King Hamlet or came Fortinbras. Well, how long is that since? Cannot you tell that? Every fool can tell that. It was the very day that young Hamlet was born. He that is a... Uh, mad and sent to England. <laughs> Mary, why was he sent into England? Why, because he was mad. Yeah. He shall recover his wits there, or if he do not, tis no great matter there. <laughs> why? <laughs> Will not be seen in him there, sir. <coughs> there the men are as mad as he. <laughs> How came he mad? Very strangely, they say. How strangely? Faith, he ended up losing his wits. Upon what ground? I uh, here in Denmark, I've been the sexton here, woman and girl, 30 years. How long will a man lie in the earth ere he rot? Say, be not rotten before he dies. We have many apocryphal courses nowadays that will scarce hold the laying in. He will last you some, I don't know, eight year or nine year. Tanner will last you nine year. And why he more than another? Faith, his hide is so tanned with his trade, he will keep out water a great while. And your water is a sore decay of your horse and dead body. Here's a skull now. This skull hath lain in the earth uh, three and twenty years. Whose was it? Horsen. Mad fellas it was. Whose do you think it was? Nay, I know not. Pestilence on him for a mad rogue. He poured a flagon of Rhenish on my head once. This same skull, sir? was Yorick's skull, the king's jester. This? Ian that? Let me see. Alas, poor Yorick. <laughs> I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest, a most excellent fancy. For he hath borne me on his back a thousand times. Now, how poor in my imagination it is, my gorge rises at it. Where be your jibes now, your gambles? Your songs, your flashes of merriment that will want to set the table on a roar. Not one now to mock your own grinning? Quite chapfallen. Uh, get you to my lady's chamber and tell her, paint an inch thick to this favor. She must come, make her laugh at that. Horatio, tell me one thing. What is it, my lord? Dost thou think Alexander looked of this fashion in the earth? In so? And smelt so? Bah. In so, my lord. Uh, they're, they're coming. Aside, aside. Couch me a while and mark. <laughs> what ceremony else? This is my Aretes, a very noble youth, Mark. What ceremony else? Her obsequies have been as far enlarged as we have warranties. Her death was doubtful, and for that great command or sways the order, she should in ground on sanctified have lodged to the last trumpet. Must there no more be done? No more be done. We should profane the service of the dead to sing a requiem or such rest to her as to peace parted souls. Lay her in the earth, and from her fair and unpolluted flesh may violets spring. I tell thee, churlish priest, a ministering angel shall my sister be when thou liest howling. What? The fair Ophelia? Sweets to the sweet. Farewell. 
I hoped thou wouldst have been my Hamlet's wife. I thought thy bride bed to have decked, sweet maid, and not have strewn thy grave. Oh, treble woe! Fall ten times treble on that cursed head whose wicked deed thy most ingenious sense deprived thee of. Hold off the earth a while till I have held her once more in mine arms. <laughs> now pile your dust upon the quick and dead till of this flat a mountain you have made to overtop old Pelly into the sky a shed of blue Olympus. Who will see this grief bears such an emphasis. This is I, Hamlet the Dane. The devil no, take my soul! No, 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 thou prince, not well! Oh, fuck, oh, I'm a splintered and rash! Yet I have within me something dangerous, which let thy wiseness fear away thy hand! Let them aside! Good my lord, be quiet! No! What? I will fight with him upon the steam until my eyelids no longer wag! My son! What theme? I love to feel you. Forty thousand brothers with all their quantity of love cannot make up my sum. <laughs> what will that do for oh, her? Oh, mad. Show oh, me what they have to do. What weep? What fight? What tear thyself? Drink up eye soul. Eat a crocodile. I'll do it. This beer madness. Hear you, sir. Why do you use me thus? I loved you ever, but it is no matter. Let Hercules himself do what he may. The cat will mew, and dog will have his day. Wait upon him! Strengthen your patience in our last night's speech. We'll put the matter to the present push. Good go to. Set some watch over your son. This grave shall have a living monument. An hour of quiet shortly shall we see. Till then, in patience, our proceeding be. <laughs> 